While we're calling people out on their shit, like their Facebook photos, we need to address something else. This doesn't annoy me as much as it amuses me, and that is people who only call when they want something. You know what I'm talking about. You have this friend you hadn't talked to in a million years, and hey, buddy, they're always overly friendly. How are you doing? How are the kids? You don't have kids. I don't have kids. Um, and then they don't get to the point. It amuses me because sometimes, you know, it takes them five minutes for the bullshit to fade away. And they just say, hey, I need a kidney. You have a truck, I'm moving. Mm. And then other times they're a time vampire. And you talk about everything and you're sitting there with the nostril flared and your eyebrow lifted waiting for it. And then they're almost off the phone with you. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. We put the kids on eBay. Nobody's biting. Could you take a look? Tell me what's wrong with the copy. Don't you find that funny? I have a lot more respect for people. This is what I do. I call and say, look, I know I've not talked to you in a year, and I'm one of those people who just, I mean, I need your truck because I'm moving, but I'll buy you a case of beer, and I'll be a better friend from now on if you'll just help me out. Wouldn't you have a lot more respect? I don't know. I would. That's just me. Have a black belt and keeping it real, the t-shirt says. I used to live with a girl who was such a pill head. She'd eat so many pills that she would just get bloated and full. And, uh, she would always lie and say, oh, my neck, oh, my back, mm, you know, the rest of that, I guess. Anyway, she just never would come right out and say it. She really would feel a whole lot better if I had a pill in my stomach, swimming around doing the backstroke. I really would. Do you have a pill? Can I have a pill? Instead, she would bitch about shit that didn't exist, restless leg syndrome. I really want to eat a pill syndrome. I mean, my sister had a freaking C-section. Three days later, you're going to eat all your tabs? Mm. It was just ridiculous. I enjoy my Barbie's blood. I would tell her. I'd say, just come out. I enjoy getting all more fucked up in the entire Cherokee Nation. I like my Franzia. I know I'm trashy, but I just love Franzia because you can just throw the box away. You don't shame yourself in front of your respective garbage man. They don't hear all the bottles clanking around, and your neighbors aren't like, what's going on over there getting all fucked up at the house? You know, you never caught a fish you didn't open his mouth, right? You don't know anybody your details. Franzi is the way to go. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just the privilege of the childless. I make no apologies for getting all fucked up all the time if I feel like it. I mean, I don't do it all the time. I'd be dead in a year, but I do it whenever I want. That's why I don't have children. A, I didn't want to be fat and not able to drink for a solid year. And B, the idea of, you know, pushing a watermelon out through my nostril didn't sound like just a whole hell of a lot of fun. And my mom used to tell me, don't have kids until you've had enough sleep. Yeah. So, no kids. Plus, what if it turns out to be an asshole? I was a little mouthpiece who got slapped quite a bit for my trouble. I earned every one. God bless you, Daddy. But I'm terrified my kid would turn out to be just, you know, 5,000 dollar braces on its teeth and it's going you're so stupid mom I'm just afraid I'd just hit it and never stop so it's probably a really good thing I'm not a parent I think a lot of people had got married and had kids before anybody told them they didn't have to you know I mean and I'm definitely not the kind of person who'd spoil that little smack bag my didn't my dad didn't spoil me either I mean he loved us but he wasn't in love with us I think I'm finished. If I need to rant some more, I'll just, you know, you'll see me again.